So hi everyone, you see five piles in front of you and with different colors smileys and we start with pile red. This is pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four and pile five is pile purple smiley. And um, the question for Tarot is, is this the real deal? Is the situation or the person I'm thinking about, is this the real shit or am I just making this stuff up? So should I move on, okay? So the question is, is this real? Is this the real deal or not? Should I move on, okay? So you think of a person or a situation and I I probably think a lot of you have questioned themselves before, you know? So you think of a question or a person, you know, a situation and choose a pile, okay? And we see each other at the piles, guys. Please also subscribe to my channel and like the video as always. I really love that. And join me at Patreon if you want to. I would be really happy. Um, yeah, that's all what I want to say. So we see you at the piles, guys. So we're starting with pile red. This is your red smiley. So let's see what the universe is saying. Is this the real deal? What you're having or what you're thinking about? Um, or... Are you just making it up? So we want to see what this is all about. So first I want to show you your mood and then you already know if this is your pile. So it says weak, empty and vulnerable beyond help. You feel helpless in this situation that you have, you know, you feel very helpless. You don't know what to do. Um, your world seems really gray. That problem, what you're having, or that situation, or that person, it's really bothering you, you know. Um, so, okay, let's see what the tarot is saying and also see. Yeah, so I want to have the rebel deck and it's saying... If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Make better fucking choices. <laughs> so what I see here is um, the situation you feel in, um, it's not what is meant for you. Okay, so I can tell you that with the gray cards and with the um, here with this card. So what is the tarot saying? Can you see this army? Yeah. So the tarot is also saying five of wands. Um, the five of wands is like an inner conflict you're having, you know. And I see that here too. You see that card? It's like a stop, you know. This is like, um, yeah. Like, look at this. Can you go through this? No. It's like it's blocked. It's not for you. And for me, um, it seems like you're fighting that. It's like in your mind, you're, you're constantly fighting that idea whatever this is you know this could be different for every army this um, situation or this person but you want to make it happen I see that here with the fire you see the fire burning the passion um, I see cups here so it could be love related I see the snake here I see healing so this constant fight it's like you're running against a wall that's like what Aries do maybe you are Aries from like a fire sign I see here a fire sign very passionate so you could be Leo, Zaj or Aries, but Aries do that often, you know, when they have a, something in mind they want to reach, it's like they go constantly <laughs> through that wall, but it's blocked. The universe is saying, well, you know, stop taking yourself there. And um, I want to read the affirmations later, okay? But we have in tarot, we have also the princess of swords. This is the truth. And um, it's like you're battling the truth. It's like you know the truth. It's like deep inside of yourself, you already know the truth. Or um, you might even know the truth or you might feel the truth. But it's just like you're, you're battling the truth. And you know how she cuts that away? You see how she, like the truth is constantly, like the truth is there. The truth is enlightening the situation. So you know the truth and it's time to cut that out of your life, you know. It's time to um, to cut whatever this is 
you know, is this the real deal or not? It's not. It's not for you. Let's say this. Because you're constantly having a fight in your mind. And um, the universe is saying, well, if you cut it, you feel feel might better. And um, I have here the this card and it says rest. I want to read it, you know. You see how you lay in your nest. It's something you're battling. Um, look at this. But it, it doesn't let you sleep very well. You see this? This is like keeping you awake at night. I take and I read you the quote. I take a step away from my stress and then a deep breath. And then a crankiness killing nap. When I get the rest I need, I instantly become a better version of myself, able to navigate complex relationships in a single bound. When I don't, I'm not, which means I shouldn't, but I try to. And then we can't. And it doesn't. But I did. So it wasn't. Oh, good night. <laughs> I feel like that's your energy. Like, I can not I can make this come true. Oh, no, I can't. The next day it's like, oh, my gosh, I, I want to have this. Oh, no, you can't. It's not. The, it's not for you. And it's like this battle going on, you know. Um, I want to see with Tarot what this, what the situation is. Because I wanted to draw it when I'm like in the moment, you know. So, what is this situation all about, universe? And I also take reverses today. I also read reverses. It's about <clears throat> it's about a love. You should not wait. The universe is saying. I felt this is like because you feel helpless. You should you don't know what you should do. Let's put this here. I mean, put let's put this card because I have to figure out how I do the the reading, like the the um. How I put the cards here so it looks good for all the readings. I always figure that out in the first reading. <laughs> because that happens spontaneous, you know. I'm a very spontaneous person. Yeah, this is about a love offer. You um, you offer someone your cup. Means um, you want to make this happen with someone. Um, but this love, as I said, the page of cups is always for me a love that's not in reality. That's like an... Like a, the love to our boys, you know, you offer them the love and you think this is true, but this is just an imaginary love. That's how I see that, you know, it's not there. The love is not there. And um, it's like, you know, see that <laughs> it's like all the cups are empty. You see the cups, there's nothing in it. So it's like he can't even see that the cups are empty. And if it's reversed, I feel that um, I feel that card is... You're constantly thinking there is something in there, but it's actually not. And it's like, come out of this illusion. There is no nothing there. Um, this could also be that you got a love offer from a person. And you're battling it. You, you don't know what to do. And the universe is saying, well, this is the, you know, the card for waiting. And when it's reversed, I feel it's... The universe is saying, well... You want to give this cup to that person. You want to offer... Oof, this is like a crush reading, you know. You want to offer that love to you, but there is no cup for you. This is not, not not for you, okay. And the universe is saying, don't wait. So whatever this is, this is an illusion, okay. And you need to rest your mind. You need to move on. Because it's stressing. It's coming to the point where it's stressing you out what you should do. And the universe is saying, so please, I mean, this is really true, you know. Um, when you resonate, this is a general reading, okay. It doesn't have to be for you. Then if you don't feel it, like, please be honest. When you're pissed at what I'm saying, then it's for you. Because usually, usually when you watch readings and um, if it isn't for you, you just know it, you know. You, you, you just know it. Um, you feel nothing. When I'm talking, you would feel nothing, would say, no, this is not my situation. Um, and then you would go. Then if this reading is meant for you um, and I tell your situation, you know, you guys go like, oh my gosh, yes, she knows. Um, you know, the universe is giving her information about myself. You feel that too, because then you see things resonating. Of course, this is general readings. It cannot resonate everything. Like all the things I'm saying here, it doesn't have to resonate with each one of you. 
all the time. I mean, that's not possible. It's just not possible. That's even not possible in personal readings. You know, it's not possible. I'm telling you. The universe God gives out information, but to be 100% accurate in a in a general reading, this is like really cool. And I know a lot of you guys saying that um, I describe your situation and I'm like stunned all the time how many people feel that way on my channel. And I'm very blessed that the universe is giving me so much information, but it can't be every time, you know, in, not in every reading. I throw out three readings a day. I mean, if you would get three personal readings every day, that, I mean, you would be broke. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you would go to a normal tarot reader. Um, this is just not, just not possible, you know. If, if you resonate with every reading of mine, I mean, congratulations, that's like great. It's like the universe wants to talk to you through me. And that's a wonderful blessing. And I'm very happy if we can reach that. I mean, that's crazy good. But it's just not possible. And, um... You know, so if you're excited and if I describe your situation, then you know this reading is for you. If you're pissed, like if I tell you the situation now and you feel pissed, Army, then you know, if the, like if it's a negative content and this is not a nice content, I mean, it helps you make a decision and I just want to deliver the truth. I don't deliver stuff that's not true. I'm telling like what I'm reading. I'm telling you what the universe is taking in my mind you know what they show me um so if this is not a good outcome this is just the truth you know i cannot make anything out of it so if you're if you're you listen to a reading and sometimes you know we just don't want to hear the things but then we know we need healing you know this happens to me too i mean i'm not healed you guys know i have a lot of issues too i have to heal um, especially I get mad when I see people stealing my ideas. I get mad, <laughs> but I have to heal this, you know, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, our channel is here and we do our thing. It doesn't matter what other people do, but I still get pissed on that. And if you piss on something, on reading, you know you have to heal something, okay? So if you're pissed right now that this, I'm telling you this and you feel, oh my gosh, this is my situation, I'm ha like having an illusion in my mind, then you know, just look at what you can do and what you can work on. And I also ask the universe what will happen when you let go of this situation or this person and they show me this freedom card. I mean, that's beautiful. You just have to see what the outcome is. And detachment happens with time. You cannot detach from one per like one moment to another. It's like um, letting go needs a lot of time, you know. Some people reach it earlier, some people need longer time, and that's okay. We're all different souls. We're here to learn stuff, you know. So the universe showed me the soul freedom, being yourself, releasing ties from the past, setting yourself free, and that's what you need to do. You see how beautiful this card is? This will happen when you release ties with that, because this situation is not your battle, okay? If this is a situation and you're um, you're battling this battle for someone else, let it go, okay? It's not your battle. If this is a person, let it go. It's not your person. This person is not meant for you, okay? And you guys know when you resonate. Okay, guys? So I hope I could help you a little bit. And don't shoot the messenger, you know. I'm just a messenger. So I love you guys and see you again. Bye. So hi, Paiu Yellow. Hi, welcome to your reading. So first we want to look at your mood. And we have this here. If only regret. So this is right now your mood. So what is it saying? Well, you're probably regretting some kind of situation. <clears throat> I feel like um, you missed an opportunity in whatever you're thinking about it's like you missed an opportunity and I want to look first at tarot I want to look at tarot um, what the situation is all about so and I also read reverses Show me, universe, what is the situation all about? Mm. 
It's like all reverses today. Oh, wow, a new start. Some, the Ace of Wands is here. That's good. <laughs> ah. So can you see this? I want to... I put this regret here. We read it later. Okay. It's like... You think of a situation or a person right now where you cannot... You feel like... You see this? It's like a situation where you need, need to free yourself. You know you're, you're um, in your mind, um, you cannot think of anything else what you can do. You know you have done everything in this situation what you can do, you know. And um, the universe is saying to go any more further in this, you need to free yourself, you know. You need to cut yourself free from this situation. But um, it seems like, like this guy is filling all his cups, you know. And um, with the person or the situation you're thinking of, when this is a reversal, it's not your wish fulfillment. You know, this just says it all. It's just, it says if only. This for me is like, you thought this is your wish fulfillment, but you realized at a certain point in, in pursuing that, whatever this is, that you are stuck. You get stuck every time you try to do something in this situation or with that person or you want to move further. It's like you get stuck. And the universe is saying, well, you don't need to get stuck. You don't even need to go in this situation because um, this situation is not filling all your cups. The situation is not moving anywhere. You need to make a new start, you know. Try something different. Try another idea. So this situation here is 50-50. It's like um, it can be for you. It can be the real shit. But then you must try another approach. The approach you're doing is leading you nowhere. Okay. So the, it actually can be the real shit. But um, right now you're stucking yourself all the time. You get stuck. So what is this tar the tarot saying? The, the um, rebel deck it's saying stop fi stop fucking whining no one wants to listen to that shit complaining makes you weak you have the strength to change your world so do it that's exactly what this card is so yes the situation can be the real deal but in right now it's not possible to reach it you need a different approach and whatever this approach is you know so we will look at the tarot yeah, look at this, the moon. It's like it's hidden. You could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But the universe is saying they get, they put you in a stuck position every time you try something because it is not revealed yet. It cannot be revealed yet. It can be the real shit in the future for you, but not now. Okay? So they put a stop every time you try something. They put a stop on it. That's the universe. Yeah, because they say you need to work on that. That's like a process, you know, like a plant growing and you need to try different, different things, you know. This is like the Ace of Wands, you see that? It's like the Ace of Wands needs to grow. You need to try different approaches and you need to, to work on that for a very long time. Like, yeah. So you're like in this mood of, of saying, whining and saying, oh my gosh, I wish this would work out. You know, I wish this would happen. But because you're getting yourself stuck all the time, you're like saying, oh my gosh, if only it would work out. Why is it, why do I always get stuck? What's going on? I want this shit. You know, I want to make this true because, um, you're saying this is not in your mind. I'm feeling this. This is not in your mind, but because you get yourself stuck all the time or the universe keeps you stuck because we see that you know it's the universe that gets you stuck all the time because right now the situation should not move it's not supposed to work out now because it needs to work on you need different approaches you know you you have to grab for the stick you have to work on that for a long time in your life this is something that works out later in life if you still want it then you know so what is the affirmation saying? 
yeah look at this this is crazy shit it's always like working out <laughs> like you know what um you know when i shuffle the cards it's crazy it's saying i claim my right to set healthy boundaries and i allow others to do the same sometimes personal space is taken and sometimes it's given and sometimes if you're on the subway it's completely disregarded and shamelessly invaded i guess it depends on the day <laughs> i love those quotes they make you laugh you know it's like the universe saying no there are boundaries bound there are boundaries right now it's not possible mm, to make it come true now we must put boundaries there this is supposed to happen later in life when you still want it okay and i tell you what if you pursue that what happens and it says rain and we have cleansing refreshing rainbow freedom so you still can pursue that you know it's very cleansing for you it will be a hard journey though that's what i'm feeling here you will be free yes but you will be alone i see here she's alone um, by pursuing that you will um, need a lot of strength in your life and you need to be very independent you know so you can this is a decision the universe leaves open to you they say if you try different approaches and if you work long in your life on that you can reach that we will um, give you permission later in life but not now this is not working out we don't know they don't tell you the reason why and also rain means for me you know rain is washing down but rain means also tears a lot of crying you know so you must decide either you leave that and and come back later in life on that maybe and try to work on that again or you just follow that bliss follow that um idea or that person what you want to pursue but you will have a lot of hardships also because you get constantly stuck the universe is saying that's what happens you know so please you must decide for your own army you know the universe is just giving those things to you they're just telling you this is how it is and you know yeah okay so this is all what i'm having for my pie yellow bye guys hi pie queen this is your reading so if you chose the queen smiley i will show you your mood right now so we have proud i feel a wave of enthusiasm for my achievement so you just have has you just has it's funny that i put the green smiley on there <laughs> i feel a wave of enthusiasm so you just have achieved something in this matter with this you know you're very proud of yourself you say well you know i've seen all the things and um something was moving here you know and I want to get the, I want to also have the rebel deck. I want to show you first before I, I get your situation. And it says some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. So <clears throat> you can be very proud of yourself, but there are some issues in your life. I don't know what this is all about, you know, but we will see. <clears throat> Why? was i thinking i could shuffle this deck <laughs> not like stupid ideas that come into my mind <laughs> okay <clears throat> what is this all about <clears throat> yeah these are your issues i don't know what issues you're having but this looks like you're very st stressed out oftentimes you know it's like He's laying there and um, he's like saying, oh my gosh, you know, what's going on? Why can I not sleep at night? Um, I mean, you work really hard on what you want to achieve. Sorry, guys. You work really hard on that. I see that here. I mean, um, you can be proud. You, you have a lot of enthusiasm for the thing that it is what you're pursuing. You know, this could be a dream job. This could be a dream guy. And you've reached a lot of stages that are already on the way to this some good shit is about to happen maybe you get in communication with that person or so if it's a person but it's like keeping you up at night i don't know what is keeping you up at night there is some kind of fear that's what they mean with the issues don't let your issues fuck it up there is some kind of fear you're having 
And it's like you're on the battlefield. I think the fear is about not winning at the end. Like if this is a person, you're battling like with a lot of people for that person. And um, your issue is you cannot let this go. I put this here. So maybe you have reached a lot of things already in this journey. But it's like you constantly... And this is why you cannot move, you know. This is why you cannot move on to another stage because your issue is keeping you stuck. And the universe is saying, well, you have to work on your fear. Otherwise, you cannot move to this good shit that's about to happen because you have achieved a lot of things already in this, whatever this is. So the universe is saying, look at this, the eight of cups. I see this as achievement awards, you know, like you and your person. I see that as a lot of achievements. You have achieved, you know, the cups are ready for you to get. But it's like there are so many other cups and that I think that is your fear. For this person, um, there are so many other cups waiting. I really feel that. Pile. <laughs> queen it's like you want to pursue you have a crush and this crush everybody wants and um actually you are guys are meant to be together you can see this this is the two of cups a soul bond is this a soul bond otherwise you wouldn't have achieved that much and there's some more good stuff about to happen but you're stressing yourself out because you have the fear that he's taking one of the other cups i tell you that's what it is that's really what it is. And that's what keeps you stuck. The Six of Swords is exactly this card. It's like you need to move to another stage, you know. But this fear here, it's like... <laughs> and you see here, in this... Um, I see protection sign here. I don't know why, guys. I see the protection sign here. So this union is protected. You don't need... This is, this is a fear, what you're doing... It's not there. It's like an illusion you're having. You're you're fearing. Um, you're getting it. Oof. Ah, universe. It's like you. Oh, thank you. Now it holds. It's like you're getting yourself into this illusion that it's not going to work out, even if you can be proud. Even you, there is more good stuff to happen, and this keeps you stuck. That's like not moving. So the universe saying, well, this union is protected. You guys are soulmates. Why you worry? You know, always there could be fighting people over a person. Always, you know, it doesn't mean that they don't love you or they, you, that you're not the one. And what it's saying, look at this. I love those guys. They're always so funny. It says loyalty. See, this person is loyal. This is a soul bond. Even if they don't know you, even if this is a crush, they are loyal in your heart. Let's read it. I'm there for the people I care about in whatever way they need me. Ride to the airport? No problem. Bail you out of jail? You bet. Go see your band again? Maybe. The point is when I stand with them, I know I'm part of something special. And to be honest, it doesn't suck to look around. And remember, they're standing with me too. Yeah. It's not about the thing of fighting each other. This is like an, this is like the pile for army again. <laughs> I like that. It's so funny. Um, you know, it's like, <laughs> it's like you're loving someone dearly and you're fight constantly fighting other armies because you think, oh my gosh, this is my person, you know, my one, not yours. And the universe is saying, why you do this, you know? If this person is meant for you, they are, you know? They are the two cups. This is a soul bond. So don't stress out. Be proud of yourself how much you reached and some more st good stuff is about to happen. Don't stress yourself out. And even if it is a soul bond, this is not in reality, you know? Why stress out? Be happy with your friends, with your army. Why stressing out about stuff that's not in reality, you know? It's like, it's not there, your fear. It's like you're constantly pro yeah, projecting, projecting your fears onto that situation, whatever this is, you know? And then I ask the universe for an advice, what's happening when you move forward with that? And it says wealth. In God we trust, see? <laughs> Trusting the journey and it says financial loss or gain blessings accepting you are wealthy with love and emotion. 
You are wealthy. You are balanced. Um, everything is okay, you know. This pentacle, the universe holds for you. Don't worry about it. Wealth will come into your life. Just keep moving and don't stress yourself out. You must let go of this, of this fear of losing that thing, what you're, um, what you're pursuing. You have the fear because you're not there yet. And you have the fear of losing it, but it's waiting there. Look, the awards are already there. They're waiting, but it's more in the future. But you need to move on to, to your future and you need to move to that future. And if you're, if you're processing with your fears, you constantly stuck, stuck yourself, okay? So be proud and, you know, move on, the universe is saying. The green light, green smiley for green light. <coughs> okay? So that's all what I'm having, guys. Bye. So hi, Pi Orange, Pi Four. <clears throat> Welcome to your reading. Let's see what your mood is. And we're having positive. It says, I'm inspired, motivated and proactive. I make the best out of every situation. That looks good, right? So this is how you're feeling towards your situation. So it looks very positive. That's why maybe you chose the orange smiley. The orange also stands for the um, sacred chakra, being very independent, being on your own. And it's okay for you. You know what I mean? Like being very much in your power. That's what the sacred chakra is all about. So what is it saying that the rebel deck it says that project that person that idea is waiting that's why you're feeling so positive you know and it's saying get after that shit the world has your back wow this is cool so yes it's this is the real shit what you're going after it makes you happy and positive so let's see what that situation is before we move on with the other cards Universe, what is this situation about here? And I also read reversals. Wow, this is something committed, but it's not in your life yet. Oh my gosh. It's an it's a soul bond made by the angel twin flame. Okay, if this is a um if this is a person, um a love interest, this is made by the angels, guys. Look at how this angel is um, like filling the two cups. They're watching over that. This needs healing. And this is a committed relationship. The Hierophant. I always like love how he does that V sign, you know. V. And this card, is a, um, this card means a soul bond, you know, like a twin flame relationship, a soul bond, a committed marriage. And I love how it says V and... <laughs> This person is very um, respected in society. Someone that people see, you know. Someone people look up to. A hierophant. Someone who um, who helps other people like a counselor. Isn't it funny? I always think it's so funny. <laughs> so this is a, for sure a soul bond made by the universe. But it's not in your life yet. The seven of swords can be read in different ways, you know. But this means it's, it's in your head only, you know. It's like he's having all the swords energy. It's in, it's in your head. This is not in reality yet. But you're on the perfect path to it. This is like a crush reading. This is a, your twin flame that you don't know of. Um, if this is an idea or a project, it means that project is only in your head. It It is not in fruition yet. It's not coming to earth. You... you if this is a business, maybe um, a business idea, you have not brought it into reality. So you still have to do it and you're very committed to do so. Universe is saying you're very committed. There are the keys. You will help a lot of people by doing so. And the angels will watch over you. I mean, you could put this on every, on a person, on a situation, you know. It's what I wanted to show you. So whatever resonates with your <clears throat> idea, that's fine, you know. So let's see what the tarot is saying. Oh my gosh, guys. This is the art card, number 14. It's the same card as the temperance. It's like the universe putting fire and water into one bowl. A Leo. So they could be like, this could be, um, you could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or water sign because I see water and air here and I see Leo and Earth here. Um, fire and earth, Leo maybe, your other half. And it says art, the art of molding those two together, you know. 
that's art. Maybe you also want to do start an art project, okay? And that's saying, yes, get that shit done, you know? And the universe, this is the card of waiting. So um, until that art is done by the universe, is saying the angels working on that behind the scenes, you know, you cannot do anything more. You're on your right way, to, you, you're positive and, you know, it says the world has your back. The world is also the universe. They are working on that behind the scenes. And until that, you need to be in this um, black state. I mean, that's not a nice card. If you look at it, it's like it's like a tree or whatever there. You know, it's like um, this is a black card for me. This is the waiting card. I mean, this is a waiting game and you need to wait till the universe is done working behind the scenes. That's what it's saying, you know. <clears throat> but it's very positive. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> and you have support all around you army look at this it's saying i look at the vast network of support in my life and i'm reminded of what a superpower it gives me at any moment i can call on any an army of top-notch oh my gosh does it say army <gasps> this is crazy shit guys i'm not choking what the heck I haven't seen that card before, you know, all of those cards. I don't know any card, like every card of my decks. I look at the vast network of support in my life and I'm reminded of what a superpower it gives me. At any moment, I can call on any army of top-notch people who want the best for me, which means I'm basically invincible. Take that loneliness, run for the hills, boredom. I'm sorry, what did you say to me? pervasive all-consuming anxiety damn right you didn't haha <laughs> this is so cool <clears throat> oh my gosh this is a part of army and oh my god this is crazy shit okay so this is you are supported by your friends by army by other people by other army so get that project done go get your love you know move on with that you're doing fine and then I also got this card, what happens when you move on. It says spirit guide helping and guiding you through life signs from spirit. So they will help you more and um, guide you. And I see this card always as big T, you know. This is so beautiful. But <clears throat> you are guided, you know. Whatever this is in your life, this could apply to so many army. This could be a person, this could be a project, this could be anything, okay. Whatever it is, you're supported by the universe, by your friends, by army. Just go and be positive and get that shit done. It's very beautiful. And right now it just turned to seven minutes and I'm closing it off here, pile orange. Okay, very beautiful. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. Hi, pile purple. I think a lot of you chose pile purple. I mean, it's just because purple is our fandom color. <laughs> there is a lot of purple here. So let's see your... <clears throat> your mood and it says love Ooh, it says love is everything the key to life the color of my heart so i think this is about love what you're pursuing and you look happy you are in love there are hearts all over you know um <clears throat> and what is the what is the um rebel deck saying it's saying you are going through some tough shit okay Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Wow, okay. Let's see with tarot what this is all about. I have my tarot deck here. <clears throat> so let's see. Universe, what is this all about? Show me. And I also read reverses. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man, it's all reversed. That's why th this has to be upright. You know, it has to turn around. It has to turn around, this thing. But actually, your mood is, is happy, you know. you um, <coughs> Handle it. Tired ass, yeah. This is all about communication, you know. So... The one you love, you're not in communication with it, with them because you're waiting desperately for a message because this was turned around. Yeah. So this is why the tough shit is there. You're waiting for communication on your person because I think it's love. It's about a person. 
and um, you see this doggy here standing in front of the house wanting to go in it's like you you don't have this feeling of home it's like you have this feeling of home with your person but it's it's reversed so you know you don't have it because um the the universe is not giving you the pentacle yet you know it's like you're <laughs> I even see this in this case the woman is sitting here and the snake you know the healing snake is guy constantly showing her the pentacle of that person you know look look here it is come on get him and you're like oh my gosh yes I want to but <laughs> that's the tough shit you're going through but the universe is saying you need to handle that so um, everyone has their turn welcome to yours so you need to do something here. I think this has to do a lot with healing. But we want to I want to look at tarot. <clears throat> oh my gosh, yes. It's about a uh, uh, twin flame love. It's about two people loving each other. Look at this. And also here, this is different than in other decks, you know. You see this here? Um this egg. You see this? Um there's a snake around the egg. And again, we have um the lion this was in the last pile too in pile number four with the lion and the eagle so one of you could be a fire sign a leo and one of you could be an air sign gemini Libra, aquarius and you see here the cupid cupid is doing cupid shooting his arrows so and look at this infinity symbol isn't it beautiful so cupid has already done their work now it's your time to do your work you know and what is this all about? Oh my gosh. It's about fighting with your healing. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Look at this big snake. And this is looks like an eye. Wow. I just see that now. This is about seeing and knowing everything. The universe. It's like the universe is watching what you're doing. And then they. it's like a mission, you know. And when you, when you do enough... <laughs> you know it's like they're watching you and they're holding you the healing pentacle i think you this is a soul bond and you ooh, and you need to do a lot of healing because at the end um it's the queen of pentacles upright the queen of pentacles could be an earth sign um taurus virgo capricorn but it doesn't have to be this could be your energy um having your shit together look at this while here right now you know, right now, you're not having your shit together. You're sitting... Look at the difference. This is the Queen of Pentacles, the same. So you could be an earth sign or... Yeah, just someone who has their shit together. Is independent on their own. Very nurturing personality, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you see here, the snake is holding her the pentacle and she's not taking it. So the universe is saying, well, you need to handle your stuff. You need to <coughs> heal th certain si certain things in your life i think it is about abandonment issues you had in your past healing your inner child that's what i'm thinking and they watch you the universe is watching you and looking if you do the stuff because you have a twin flame bond you have a union with someone already but uh, it's not in this is in 5d you're married to someone in 5d and they want to bring you this person into 3d but they wait till you have your shit together you know, the Queen of Pens is not someone that's in school. I tell you that. If you're going to school and you're like, you know, you have to first go through school. You have to do your education and you have to um, be independent on your own, make your own money. That's what the Queen of Pentacles is about, you know. So if this is about a person, you need to grow up first. You know, it's not when you're like 18 it's too early in life they bring this in when you're maybe over 30 or maybe like 20 25 26 but not now so that's that's just meaning you don't have to do anything you just have to grow up and wait for the timing you know and handle all your tasks basically because people probably ask now yeah what, what should i do i mean what should i heal i have nothing to heal and um, it's just they, saying you have to complete certain things can't talk certain things in your life you have to complete and grow up and become independent get your shit together and when you're ready they bring you in this person you know but it's the real shit yes 
This is the real shit, the real real shit, you know. <laughs> so what it's saying, yeah, receiving. Look, I said we want to receive a message. I open up and allow myself to receive love in all ways from all directions. It may seem scary, but it's better than receiving audits. Bad box or hate mail. I receive love and it feels so good that I decide to receive it some more. And then some more and maybe just a wee bit more. <laughs> so it's like um, also maybe you're closed off right now because you <clears throat> you feel tired of waiting for this person. Maybe you closed your heart chakra and you, uh, you know the snake wants to give you this healing. Maybe it's also with another person, guys. This could also be until your person comes in, you, you're the real shit, that they want to bring you someone else in and you're not interested. And they say, well, you need to receive that person first because before we send you the real one in. So please take, apply it as it fits. It could really be that they're trying to send you someone in for healing before the real shit comes in. The one that you marry may, maybe comes later in life. You must apply it, how old you are, what this is, you know. Um, it could also be about a project, guys. I just want to say it, but it says love as a big theme. So, But it could, if it is a project, it's you're waiting to to make it a business you know and you feel abandoned because you don't have any money and the universe is saying well there are possibilities to make more money for your project to come later in life but you need to do now some other things for making money maybe doing secondary jobs or something like that and you're not receiving you're not want to take this because you're stuck on that one thing okay but this one thing will come later in life this will come after that what they're trying to bring you they're trying to bring you something in what you're not seeing and you're like closed off and the universe is saying receive it and you know they even give you yeah they give you uh, messages and dreams and I think they say when you receive this gift when you take on this gift from the universe whatever this is another person or another job something on your way to the real shit okay when you accept this then they send you your person and dreams and you can dream with them until they are in your life you know it says connecting with self and spirit believe in the power of your dreams guidance and direction okay so this was also a very powerful reading so yes this is a real shit yes it's not in your head yes you will make it one day but not now they want to send you something else in right now and you're not open to receive it please receive it and make it happen and then as a thank you they will bring you your person the real shit and dreams okay until you we get to the point because they watch you also very beautiful pile right army wow all those piles are always so beautiful i really love doing those readings it like makes me happy <laughs> it makes me happy that's why i do so many i wouldn't do many readings if it wouldn't make me happy you know guys okay so now i'm going bye guys